Hi, this is Talent Home Solutions, COA video tutorial number one. COA stands for Computer Architecture and Organization. So in this chapter, we are going to see all the computer structures and how a computer is made, how it is organized and what will be the hierarchy and things involved in a particular computer. So starting with the very first session, in this session, we are going to see the architecture of one human machine. This is the major architecture that we use nowadays. It is one of the stable one which is used so far. Okay, now the objective of this, uh, pro this session will be to understand machine architecture that was suggested by John von Neumann. In this, we are going to see the three major components of the architecture, the functionality of each one of the components and the various interconnectivity between them. So let's start with that. As I've told you before, ki, um, one human machine consists of three major components. So the very first component is the main memory unit. The second one is input-output system unit. And the third one, and the most important one, is central processing unit, which consists of arithmetic and logic unit and program control unit and the various interconnections between them. So now let us understand them one by one. The very first one we will be starting with is I.O. system unit. So I.O. stands for input and output. This, is, this basically includes input unit and output unit. So input unit is basically used for accepting data from the outside world. And for doing that, we require two major components that is keyboard and CD drive. The next thing that we have is output unit. Output unit is used to display or give the outside world the data, the process information. For that, we need the example basically is going to be the printer or the CD drive. Next, main memory unit. So main memory unit is used for storing instructions and data, which we, which we may need for processing of any program. Next is central processing unit it consists of two major components inside it again these modules they work in harmony to give us an output so central processing unit the first one is arithmetic and logic unit in this we see there is alu alu it is going to perform all the arithmetic and logical operations like multiplication division addition etc on the data that it is going to receive from the memory Next is Program Control Unit or CU that is going to coordinate and control all the other modules present in a computer. It does this by sending or receiving control signals. Okay, so hence I can say that a one human machine architecture consists of three components or three main modules wherein the very first one is the main memory, second one is IO system unit, and the third one, and the most important one, is central processing unit. That is ALU and CU. Okay, so now let's move on for the next one, in which we are going to see the various interconnection between them. So, as we know that a computer consists of a main memory, CPU, and I/O, whereas CPU consists of one of the additional components that was not discussed in um, one human machine. It was register. The other one we know it is control unit and arithmetic and logic unit. And now we are going to discuss about the connectivities between how they send and receive what kind of information exists between them, what kind of interconnection of information exists between them. So the very first one is between CPU to main memory. CPU requests address of various operands that it wants to process information about through main memory. So the direction is from CPU to main memory. And the interconnection is called as address interconnection. The second one is data and instruction interconnection, which is between CPU and main memory again, wherein the data is sent and received to and from. So this is used if I want to perform any uh, operation inside my arithmetic and logical unit. There, for that, I ne I'll need the instruction and the data for processing. So that is received via this interconnection. The next one is um, IO between IO and CPU. This is for sending the data and control information. So if I, if the CPU has to control the IO system for that or, C, or the IO has to send any information or data to my CPU 
At that point of time, it makes use of data and control information in the connection. So to summarize everything, we have learned in this tutorial that one human machine consists of three parts. One is main memory, the other one is central processing unit, and the third one is input or output unit. Where in my CPU consists of ALU, which stands for arithmetic and logic unit, CU, which stands for control unit, and registers. These are registers are nothing but small buffer storages inside my uh, CPU. Next, for the next one which I had was interconnections that existed between various devices between those modules. The very first one was between CPU and main memory that was unidirectional which was called as address interconnection. The second one was main memory to CPU that was bidirectional which was known as data and interconnection interconnection and instruction interconnection. And the third one was CPU to IO bidirectional again which is called as data and control information interconnection. So now let's uh, guess the correct output. So I have a question over here saying that the question says the input, the unit responsible for uh, processing of logical and arithmetic operation is your operation, your options are input unit, control unit, ALU or C. Any guesses? Well, the correct answer for this is for logical and arithmetic operation. The unit responsible for processing these kind of operation is ALU, which stands for arithmetic and logical unit. So that's it for this session.